Welcome back to Risque Business News. I'm your host, Laura. And I'm May. And uh, May, what are we doing today? Okay, so today, um, I thought it would be apropos in the month of January, in the year of our Lord, 2023, yep. to go over um, maybe some influencers and fitness people that have been scamming and duping their following. Oh, perfect. We're yeah. all we're all trying to do that uh, New Year's resolution. I'm sure you guys are trying to lose some, some Melby's or some maybe. kilograms, depending on know. where you're, where you're <laughs> tuning in from. Right. Or you're under the guise of like, oh, I just want to be healthier. And it's like, bitch, we know that you're just trying to impress Brad. Okay. Yeah. We understand. <laughs> People always choose January to do like their like sober Januaries and shit oh. like that. And I'm like, the most depressing month? No, thanks. Just go have a good go have a glass of red wine, which is what we'll be doing through the episode. So great. All right. Enjoy. Where's the money? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how you make money. Hold on. That, Two stand up comics in New York City. Just learned a lot of this stuff. I'm going to ask all the stupid questions that you might be thinking at home, but are afraid to ask people. Making it to where you feel like you're too stupid to be able to ever engage in it. They win. Why the fuck are they doing this? <laughs> it's to make money. It's risque business news. Okay, Laura, I actually, <laughs> so earlier today, I've been like extremely overwhelmed uh, yep. lately. And so I was like asking Mark, I was like, what's something fun that we can do on the pod? Like, do you have any ideas or whatever, like scams, oh. yada, yada. And he was like, well, what about how Kellogg's was invented because people shouldn't be masturbating? And I was like, <laughs> hold on, what are you talking about? Also, why is this the first we've heard of it, Mark? Yeah, right? <laughs> how is that not like your the top three fun facts that you're presenting? Yeah, so apparently, I then I looked into it because I was like, I think you made that up. Or I think someone was like pulling your leg when you were a little kid. And no, for, never, you never got corrected on this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, it's like Santa Claus, but Mark's version. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, for Kellogg's, there's no masturbation. How does that even work? So I read a fucking article about it that last, it was like two second article. So this is all <laughs> I know about it. But basically, Headline. some dude invented it back in the 1800s. Um, and he was a Wait. part of, yeah. Wait, Wait. <laughs> Kellogg's like cornflakes. Yeah. Are from the 18 fucking hundreds? Yeah. <laughs> you better believe it. Come Ac on. According to the Snopes article that okay. I read. <laughs> uh, well, listen. Listen. All I, right. I guess I, I just assumed like 19, I don't know, 73. No. No, 1800s. It's 1800s. historic. And so the idea why it's like not... <laughs> It's like so anti-masturbation is because it's so fucking bland on purpose that people like don't get any sort of enjoyment at all. So it's like a part of this religious <laughs> movement that's like you have to be like the, pur the Puritans. I is it that was it that weren't they up at that point? Was I it guess the Puritans or like the, the Shakers. The shakers? <laughs> you know about the Shakers? Were they like aren't those the Amish adjacent? They're Amish adjacent. They, as far as I'm aware, they don't have sex. And so, they, and so there's <laughs> only like a hundred of them. Only with breakfast cereal. <laughs> there's like, there's like a hundred of them left. And no uh, yeah, but they keep having like, re they recruit people to this little like oh. cult kind of thing. So you're not, you ever born a shaker because no one's having sex. So I think it's probably like asymmetrical or asymmetrical, <laughs> asexual people from way back when were like, hey, let's all hang out and like not have sex. That is quite like. And they make amazing furniture. Oh, perfect. Yeah. But I will say, <laughs> I just want to circle. So that implies that these folks, perhaps the shakers, were getting turned on by other forms of breakfast cereal. <laughs> I guess. They're like, I'm masturbating too much from Fruit Loops. So well, Okay, so something that's interesting is that I know this girl who's like, I don't know. what She like considers herself a Buddhist or whatever. And she talks about it fucking nonstop. I'm like, well, this is annoying. But whatever. So <laughs> she's into it. God bless her. Yeah. But um, she's like happy or something. I or don't know. Whatever. But she was telling me that she doesn't eat onions. And I was like, well, why don't you eat onions? I was like, she's, you know, yeah. baiting me. I'm like, all right, tell me why about why God you? doesn't want you eating onions or whatever. And so she said, um, she was like, I don't eat any sort of food that like excites my palate because I want to be at like a baseline. And then I have to like lift my mood up organically without any sort of like exciting food. I was like, girl. Oh boy. Life doesn't have to be this bad. Oh <laughs> Eat your my fucking onion, God. dude. <laughs> you guys, you deserve to have your things taken away. <laughs> yes. Isn't that shocking? That is so sad. I know. Oh, God. Life you know, is supposed onions to be fun. Are, onions are your big sin. Yeah, lady, we're not talking about Snickers here. Like, no. we're not talking about Doritos. Not refined like, sugar, not canola oil. <laughs> well, and also, you're not going to 
ever have a fucking blue ranch Dorito ever again in I your whole life? Would imagine that those probably fall a little higher than onions. Oh yeah, Ooh, those are those exciting. those are <laughs> uh, actually. I will say, <laughs> when you eat a Dorito, it's like okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my taste buds are freaking out <laughs> right now. It is amazing. There is no shot. This is okay for my body. Well, that's kind of like delicious. When, when but, people are like, "Well, I cut out sugar, so like you can really taste the sweetness of an almond." I'm like, "Fucking go to hell! Are you kidding me right now?" Yeah. I remember um, I had a ballet teacher growing up and <laughs> at one point she also had to teach us because it was like our gym substitute. So she also had to teach us nutrition because that okay. was included in the gym curriculum. Yeah. So then we had this woman from, a, I kid you not, Russian ballerina. Okay. Like full blown, <laughs> barely spoke fucking English. Anorexic or what? Never eaten. She's never eaten. Yeah. She's like so tall. She was very, very tall, vi- like terrifyingly skinny, which is why she was teaching kids and not actually in the ballet because you can't be her size. LOL. Right. And oh, wow. so then she has to teach us little girls nutrition. And she's Good like, God. when you want sugar, don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of that, don't. And then have a drink of water. And that <laughs> that was our nutrition class. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe my mom taught your nutrition class. (laughs) That is fucking hilarious. Yeah, health class was insane. I've seen like those memes that are like, yeah, my day at work is bad, but at least nobody made me run a mile against my will. And I'm like, that is so funny. No one made me do the presidential fitness test. Yeah. (laughs) Where we had to like do as many like sit-ups as we can. (laughs) That was what they were called, the presidential. Yes. Really? Why was it? It was called. Wait, Did let's presidents look it up. have to do that? Wait, because fucking, that's amazing. Let's look this up real quick. Because Joe Biden is definitely not running a mile around the fucking track. No, what? Only Obama mm. and like I don't know. Yeah, George neither Bush. Is, neither no, is Trump I don't think so. Big Trump's not fucking dump truck. presidents. Oh, here, president. What are the five presidential <laughs> fitness <laughs> tests? Yeah, it's, a real, it's a real thing. You had to do a partial <laughs> curl up, one mile run slash walk. A V sit or a sit and reach, which is a very different exercise. Yeah, that's way different. Right angle push ups or pull ups and a flexed arm hang, and then the BMI. Oh my God. I wonder if this is still a thing because I would imagine There's that in no. schools now people are like, no, you can't measure fitness. No, of course. I mean, that was already like BMI was, that's questionable. That yeah. was part of the fitness. So it was originated in the 1940s. I guess it was probably part of someone's. We should actually look into this more. Sp- uh, like for real at some yeah. point Eisenhower oh my good God, old president funny. Eisenhower was like so how how those kids how how are the kids on the mile run <laughs> how are the kids on the sit and reach <laughs> I was really fucking slow dude I was Were not you? yeah I was always the slowest runner I was like oh. I don't know I was just a really slow Mover. child but mentally you- physically <laughs> But you did, um, you, that's why you did ice skating. Uh, like yeah, like, I, I was agile as a goalie. Yeah, there you I go. But I was not you're like quick, a you're runner. You're quick back and forth. Oh, yeah. I was fast as hell. Let me tell you yeah. that. But that was also like sports. Right. Sports. Know, that's what yeah. I was doing. I was, presidential fitness awards were like my time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Strap <Yeah>. in, everybody. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm coming through. I President play- Eisenhower will be proud of this girl. <laughs> I did play lacrosse. And I okay, remember that's... being okay at it. Like, I don't know. I, I was definitely not like the fastest. I was really good at um, hand-eye coordination stuff. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Man. That's most sports. I was so bad at it. We all have different strengths. All have different strengths. Not that. according to President Eisenhower. No, you got to have the same ones. <laughs> it's better be a, a curl up. <laughs> I remember, I don't know if this was part of that test because it didn't sound like it, but we had to like climb a rope. That was fucking hard. Yeah. Definitely there was a rope element, which is also kind of dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. And like, I was like, God damn. Yeah, it's like, very difficult. Looking I'm getting back, a fucking ab exercise. I did that in training, like, for the United States. Right. That was part of our, like, right. <laughs> we don't need all of kids to do that. And it's then, not necessary. Well, and it was so awkward because you did, like, the sit-ups and all that. And so you'd have, like, you know, some fucking boy you have a crush on. And you're sitting oh, yeah. there trying to hold in a fart the whole time. <laughs> and you're, like, he's <laughs> holding your feet and you're, like, <laughs> Yeah, and you're wearing these like little shorts that you've like rolled up yeah, the into Sophie's. oblivion. Yes, and I'm like, you can see my fucking vagina. The S- Sophie's turned into thongs, yeah. like immediately, <laughs> like just like hike them up. Oh yeah, <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh god seventh graders gone wild dude gone it wild it was but i went to i went to a private school and so they would make us just in like literally shorts to our knees oh, like from really? donnelly's <laughs> school apparel <laughs> we That's were so we were so asexual looking it was yeah. <laughs> it was out of control and i appreciate it in retrospect i'm like yeah good on you guys no totally you make us look just ambiguous just body shapes <laughs> that's really funny because so i went to private school in high school but in middle school i went to just like the regular sandwich middle school and like the things that my my parents would let me leave the house in i, w- I was like permanently at the principal's, principal's office permanently they yeah. were like your midriff is out again it's so skinny though yeah i was like <laughs> they're like so oh, fucking ripped <laughs> And they're ex- upset about it. Yeah. And they're also like, your mom needs to go to limited two and get you a real bra because this is obscene. <laughs> okay. This is literally obscene. <laughs> what we're trying to say is May was popular. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wasn't. I was just like this dorky, like zitty girl with braces. I just had a fucking rack. <laughs> a rack and her, her <laughs> stomach out the whole time. Everyone's yeah. like, all right. The teachers it's winner. Were- <laughs> <laughs> the teachers were probably fucking horrified being a teacher that would honestly be one of the hardest parts is just being Mm. like that's extremely inappropriate yeah yeah i did uh in middle school i did get class clown and i was very proud of that my my parents were not proud of that no that's definitely Um, and this guy who was like mean to me and he thought that he should have gotten class clown i was like whatever but he was like tell me a joke then and i go suck my dick in front of everybody and everybody laughed that is funny yeah <laughs> that's a exactly. that's pretty funny because you're a girl when we would well, assume. I, I don't have a dick yes haha yeah. that's the thing there you go <laughs> wow may's first joke there we go this is adorable <laughs> yeah it was really clever super highbrow yeah suck my dick i think his well, name is billy oh, fuck you billy yeah and you're meanwhile <laughs> meanwhile my schools were so serious about West Bay Christian Academy. Yeah. Woo, we wore slacks. Yeah. They were like, no skirt. Get out of here. You're going to really? be in slacks. No way. They were hardcore. Oh, then wow. the Prout School, all bets were off. Okay. Then we were in skirts. And why did they make us go in knee highs? Did you have to wear a knee? Uh, no, actually, I we didn't have a uniform. I wish we had. Ugh. But yeah. They made Catholic school girls weirdly wear knee highs and skirts. And I'm like, <laughs> guys, that's gross. <laughs> like, yeah, like, this is slutty. That's extremely slutty. For what reason are we forcing this as part of the... You think that's covering more? The cat? No. No, or, it's like a Halloween costume for like hot It's literally young thing. Spirit Halloween has that in their slutty schoolgirl <laughs> outfit section. It's just our uniform. That's so funny. No, we didn't have fucking... We did not have uniforms and it sucked because all these people, all the popular kids had like wicked nice clothes in my school and I just shopped at that TJ is the Maxx worst. and I was like... I, can actually understand why uniforms are better because of that because you just focus on school and you're not right. like waking up every morning like oh my god i wore this shirt now i gotta yell at my I mom know. and Ugh, like, i didn't get the right abercrombie and fitch one i just have the the uh american eagle polo right. god damn it <laughs> oh horrible hollister oh <laughs> social suicide <laughs> aeropostale i had Aero a lot Postel. of that i was definitely an aeropostale because they were Me for what if they were like 30 percent cheaper 30 percent they were More? like more yeah i wouldn't even know because i didn't go to the other store yeah (laughs) they like kicked me out (laughs) get out of here also like at the time i was like i can't believe my mom's being a hard ass about this but now like if if i had a kid that was like do you want to get this that you're gonna grow out of and hate in two seconds or this that you're gonna grow out of and hate in two seconds and this one's fucking ten dollars and this one's fifty dollars i'm gonna be like you can get the ten dollar one and you can have a little bit of a character building moment yeah okay (laughs) absolutely and it, like, God it'd be forbid. one of those things where I'd be like, just make your own money. If you want to go get a part-time job yeah. and get your fits, That's true. Go for it. The first, I, I mean, don't you don't really care about things until you're like 14. And at that point, then you can go get a part-time get a job. Part-time job. But you, f- can be, you can babysit or something. But yeah. So point is, I can absolutely, uh, I will just put my kids in uniform from the day one. I'm yeah. like, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are your outfits for the rest of your life until you turn 18 and you can buy your own shit. Yeah. How about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Laura Sogar's uniform. It's the Sogar household uniform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Uh, it's kind of complicated. Like, I was wondering about this because I worked, um, like, in Sandwich. My, when I was, like, 14, I was, like, a little, like, hostess. You know, I, like, yeah. worked or whatever. But I was able to do that because it's, like, like more of, like, a rural situation. But, like, in New York, oh, I, yeah. 
like how would you a have your kid job. get a part-time job that isn't like nannying for your friends or something but even then it's like there's somebody who could really use the money nannying so you're like taking a job away yeah I mean there's definitely a lot of like opportunities for nannying and pet sitting and stuff oh yeah but pet I, sitting would be a but good I think also you'd have to deal with the fact that New Yorkers are terrifying yeah I'm not sending my kid to random strangers house to no, it would have to be like my friends that I just know. And I'm like, oh, they're, it would they're have to be a, to like, com- uh, a community th- I like ordeal. Right. And this is your little responsibility that you have to go over and feed the yeah. cat every day or like whatever. But you know what I mean? It's complicated. Yeah. Another reason I have kids in New York. Yeah. Well, good thing me and Mark bought a house. Yeah, so. I was going to say <laughs> one of us is approaching that much faster than the other. Um, so fucking I've talked about this off the pod, but we have a squatter in our home right now. You told and, me this, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so in our renovation project. So yeah. So as we've discussed, May has a home that she is refusing to move into. I refuse until to move it's into like it. nicer or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's literally unlivable, but yeah, it's, it's, it should it's, be condemned by the city. Okay. So the designer came through, and I guess there's a homeless person. It's two blocks from me. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, Laura, it's unhoused. Oh my god. And now he has a house, and it's my house. Okay. <laughs> so there's a new family member. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to have a baby anymore. You adopted eight. I lovely 45 year old gentleman or whatever he is can you believe that shit though that is i mean oh so we gotta get also him now, out of there now it's like right before christmas where this is when we're recording it and you're like hey i know it's so sad i know and you know what like obviously we're gonna remove the, yeah the squatter from you got home. you have to <laughs> you know but it's like okay well we might as well just wait until we have to start like the renovation picks back up in january because it's like all right well well you do have to be careful because there's the squatters squ- laws i know which I are know. what the hell happened like that is crazy that i know there's like all these laws where if you are able to um stay in a place for over 30 days or something like that it's yeah. not even that long no it's then not you that have long. squatters rights and you can't get kicked out yeah but i think this might be different because it's not um like the city doesn't doesn't allow anybody to live there now because of it's like you know, oh so it's not even a residential it's place not even a residential gate. place yet and he broke in like he like broke a window and came in through the back which oh now, wow yeah which now I'm they like replace this window also <laughs> yeah I know is there damage to like the weather coming in through that window I don't fucking know dude like maybe <laughs> but like I'm just- <laughs> I must bring up all these issues and you're like, God damn it. Shh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, fuck, man. So like when I'm living there the whole time, I'm going to be like in the basement. Like, is anybody down here? Hello? I'm just trying to get a fucking tomato can down oh, here no. for my pasta. But I'm pretty sure there's a like a just open, squatter open down Open an here. unhoused shelter in your basement. That's the answer. Listen. Business opportunity. Okay, sharks. <laughs> Who wants to run it? I don't know how it? much money's flowing through there. <laughs> Probably not much. No, upside is... Just goodwill. Upside is just feeling good. Yep. But probably it'll still be a very intense situation out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. A couple needles. Ah, I hate to... Not great. Sorry, stereotypes, but I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Well, we've been stereotyping all over, up and down and all around on this episode. We've been talking we? about... Uh, yeah, we're like, yeah, let's lose some weight for January. Let's oh, shoot yeah. up some heroin well, that for... Is- uh, <laughs> for your lifestyle and <laughs> just and, because you don't have a home yeah and so um maybe this is a good time to switch into our main story so i thought it was funny to go over a few influencers that were caught red-handed by their followings and sc- for scamming and duping the people that follow them amazing um, i don't know i think that's fun i just love like influencer love culture it's so like everyone's like oh this person wasn't selling what they said they were selling it's like yeah okay they're a fucking piece of shit yeah you've seen like 25 videos from this person (laughs) it's not that serious it's really not that serious like it's gonna be fine um okay so the first one that we have i actually listened to a whole whole ass podcast on this um (laughs) like this this is not gonna be this one (laughs) but if you guys haven't heard there's this girl named Brittany dawn davis Okay. Uh, anyway, so she's a fitness influencer, and she had major backlash backlash for scamming her followers into paying her three hundred dollars for personalized diet plans. And so, what was happening? How do you? Yeah. So basically, she started out kind of small. I, it's hard to tell, like, if she 
um, had nefarious intentions from the beginning or if she just sort of like fell into this because she started off a little small and I think she had like, you know, like 500 people that were doing this. Even still, that's way too many people to give personalized online no, coaching to. No, absolutely not. And it grew to like 5,000 or something well, like that. Um, and so a scalability problem. Right. <laughs> but she was like sending out... Um, you know, like someone would be like, oh, what do you, and like serious things. Like people would be like, I have a binging and purging issue or oh, I shit. have anorexia. Can okay. you help me? That's on them. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm team Brittany on this one. Yeah. If you have a, <laughs> like to go to a doctor, go to a doctor, not a fitness influencer for a $300 diet plan. Well, even more Or come offensive. to me and I'll send you voice memos like in our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> and Laura just like, Stop hey, don't eat it. Up. <laughs> Or do eat it and keep it down. Keep it down. Yeah. Stop getting in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God. By the way, we saw the whale. That was insane. <laughs> we got. We so didn't we went, talk about that. No, we have not talked about that. Speaking of binging. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy. Might, well, wow. Never mind. I was about to say something terrible. I'll just say it. I'm like, he should have been purging. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he does in that one tumultuous climax scene, mm -hmm. which I was laughing. I was like the whole crescendo of that whole movie. Uh, this is not a spoiler alert because what the hell could possibly happen in this movie is he eats a shit ton and throws up. Yep. That's like the big, that's like his big like emotional reckoning moment. Yeah. And it's horrifying to watch. It really is. It and was an insane movie. We had ordered popcorn, like <laughs> covered in truffle butter or whatever. And like cheese. And cheese and like truffle and like just decadent. And we had chicken tenders, french fries. It was like a, a treat yourself meal. But I think as the movie progressed, I was like, I don't need the French fries. No, it was so intense. I don't think I need to finish the popcorn. Good movie, though. Great movie. Great movie. Uh, but, uh, good not performances. Yeah. Kind of weird. Eh, yeah. It was shot in one one um, building. Well, he didn't leave his building. He couldn't leave his building. He was too large. Yeah. yeah. I could have dealt with more finishing up the storylines at the end where I was like, yeah. all right. Right. So how did they all? <laughs> you know who I didn't like is I didn't like his caregiver. Uh, what's her name? I, I, forget. I forget. I did like her. I didn't like pretty much anyone else. No, everybody else. Well, everybody kind of sucked, actually. Actually, all of them were not cool. No. Well, the main guy, the whale, was cool. I didn't like him at all. You didn't like him at all? Oh, I hated him. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you Absolutely. didn't feel bad for him? No. He was fucking, he caused it on himself. Yeah, but he dealt with his loss of his lover. A lot of people We're have ruining people. the whole movie for people. <laughs> oh, it's, this is the Patreon if you want the <laughs> spoilers. On. Dude, no, God, I was felt, huge. I felt like the whole time he was pitying himself. And I get it. A bad thing happened to you, but like you're going to ruin other people's lives through yeah. that. No, I. that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Get your shit together. Yeah, but he just seemed like a nice guy. Okay. Like oh, a, yeah, he was a nice guy. I'm just not gonna... like a new, nice, humongous man. He was a very nice man, but like he, and I think that was at the end, he kind of like did get his shit together a little bit when he actually talked to his class directly. And, oh, But yeah. it was way too late at that point. That's true. Wow. Look at me giving an actual critical film I review. Know. Wow. <laughs> what are you in Meanwhile, college? I watch like a JLo movie and I'm like, 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> No notes. It was perfect. It wasn't what I expected it to be, but I didn't know what I expected it to be. I but did enjoy the experience. I was like fucking pumped to see it. And then I was like, why was I like so gung ho? On I don't know that? why you were so go gung ho about that one specifically. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Also, can we just talk about when people pose with these balloons? Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at right now a photo of Brittany Dawn herself. And back she's to in Brittany. Like a back harsh to yeah. pivot back to Brittany. <laughs> so remember well, 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 Brittany Dawn. <laughs> remember that influence? <laughs> we were just talking about so she is like stereotypical good looks uh blonde very thin well, she's not even blonde she's like white haired yeah she's like she's a like platinum situation i don't know yeah um looks cool she's cute whatever she uh posted with 300 behind her which i assume is 300k that is so nerdy when people get those balloons it's so nerdy because that means you went to a party city yeah and you were like hey is the family in front of me buying balloons for their third their baby's third birthday no can i also get that same balloon and then some zeros there, you know it's probably like oh that family needs someone for needs a balloon for the third birthday i'm gonna cut them in line to make sure i yeah, get the yeah, last yeah, one yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah are she turning three well this is more important this so. is way more important <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just embarrassing. Um, also, like, what's embarrassing to me, and I get it, like, influencing is, you know, obviously hard. I would, it's, it's not, I don't think it's as easy as people make it out to be. No, it definitely is not. It also sounds like, I think it's um less, like, hard work-wise. It is hard work-wise. Yeah. But maybe not, like. Like, mentally, it's hard to, like. Mentally, I think it's also soul-crushing in a different way. Oh, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, like, the a lot of the difficulty would come in more just being in the public eye at that level. And just people being, like, not treating you like a human being. Yeah. You see that happen so fast. Where oh, people, yeah. like, forget that that's a person on the other side. I know. They're do making know, money off it, so at least they're making money off it. But. Do you follow that influencer, uh, Michaela? I don't know her last name. Anyway, she's like no. a wicked like Boston influencer, and she mm-hmm. does, she does makeup or whatever. And there was like a sound on TikTok where like her voice was like, "Try being an influencer for a day. Just try." You know what I'm talking about now? No, I don't. Oh, okay, whatever. But people were making fun of her for it. Oh yeah. And everybody like loved her. She was like this adored lady who like worked at Ulta, and she was like this little underdog. And then she quit to be an influencer full time, and everybody like turned on her within I'm not kidding like six months. That's wild. Yeah. And people were like, literally like people in fucking Applebee's and like Braintree, Massachusetts were like, I ran into Michaela and her dad and he, and they didn't tip me enough and da da. And she's like, I don't make that much money. I'm a fucking TikToker. Yeah. Like, there's really not that much in revenue coming in. Like, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Like you, like I get a bunch of free fucking makeup palettes. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Like, do you want one of those? Yeah. <laughs> she should start tipping in makeup palettes. Yeah. Right. Honestly, be like, oh. She's really good at her makeup. I bet. Um, okay. So anyway, oh. and she's got a super thick Boston accent. I know. Crazy. Oh, thick. I like her. Me too. I like her too. People have turned on her. I'm telling her. And then people turned on like Emily Mariko. She was a salmon. Salmon I remember, girl. Yeah. And people were like, how can she afford all that salmon? <laughs> and what? that's like, remember we were talking <laughs> yeah. about college salmon. That's, that's yeah. top notch. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and then everyone was like, oh, our parents our college educated. I'm like, all right. The privilege. The well. privilege to buy all this fucking fish. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's got big fish money, huh? <laughs> She's got big fish money. She does. <laughs> oh, we are having fun. We okay. sure are. We sure are. Should we go to the next gal? Let's go to the next. Okay, wait. Hold on. Just in, in summary. So she just was make duplicating fitness plans for everybody yeah well yeah and she just like was she was like marketing them it's like i'll give you a personalized thing oh and this is her worst offense is that people were like hey i'm trying to like you know lose a few (laughs) i'm trying to get married or something like they have like some big event or whatever and they're like and she would send them plans and they'd be gaining weight oh so she's just bad at her job she's bad at her job (laughs) okay that's that's not good Brittany. when your job is fitness influencing no flew too close to the sun Icarus that's why you gotta be so careful like I feel like if I was a fitness influencer I would just be like this like every single fucking video I'd be like this works for me I'm but not saying it's gonna work for you I'm just saying 100% but at the same time they're trying to sell a product that's which true. involves lying in your marketing yeah it's so funny like there's nothing wrong with her, her look necessarily but it's just so tacky to, i guess it's a 300 fucking balloons behind her yeah that doesn't help i, I wouldn't know. also look at her and be like fitness you wouldn't no. i feel like she's got like abs yeah that's it though yeah all right i guess this isn't right outfit to judge that depending on like yeah. how long <laughs> how long can you hold a plank girl? what's your mile run <laughs> you've ever been to solid core <laughs> what does eisenhower have to say about your presidential fitness <laughs> <laughs> all right we get another one. So in 2018, Angie Lau, she was a travel influencer. She faced massive backlash after she charged her followers nearly $500, so more than the last gal, to give them a crash course on how to grow their Instagram account, but they sadly didn't get what they expected. Well, no shit. Oh, boy. Have you gotten ads for that, like, creator IQ thing? Not creator IQ. What is it? I don't know. Whatever. Sure. It's supposed to be like, I keep getting these things that are like, oh, you want to grow your following? Like, uh, oh, I get the bots, the spam no, bots. No, not this. Well, those two, I get those two, but I get like, and those are basically like pay us and we'll give you fake followers. Yeah. Um, but no, there's like another one that like, it'll give you like a schedule on when to post. Maybe we should do it <laughs> for the pod. Yeah. We'll go. Lo- we'll figure it out. Why not? Maybe we'll do hers. But apparently yeah. not because, oh, she's beautiful. She is really That is pretty. a doctored photo, though. Oh, yeah. Better be or I'm going to kill myself. I know. Have <laughs> you ever look at them and you're like, but it's fake, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Please? Oh, my God. I know. Yeah. Influencers are like the class. I feel like now influencers come in like every 
different Shape. type of person. But like the original OG 2018 influencer. Yeah, I'm like, they were so scary. That's fucking, I mean, it's difficult to look like that in general. No, like, she, I mean, it's just a step away from model. Yeah. You wanted to be a model, obviously. Right. But it didn't pan of, out for whatever reason. And you sort of look like a... Uh, like an star. OnlyFans girl. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a little too sexual. Yeah. For right. actual. For actual modeling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Aggie. Get out of here, girl. She's from Poland. She's from Poland. Would you rather be, would you rather look like, <laughs> like a classic runway model or a porn star? Oh, God. I think I'd rather look like a, a runway model and the reason being is because i feel like if you look like a porn star porn star like every place you go into you're like judged way harsher i would definitely go with runway model but i will say it depends on what kind of runway model because the high fashion ones look like aliens Mm -hmm. it's my fate like watching like the balenciaga one we were watching those those different videos i went back and watched a bunch of them and i'm like they don't they're not attractive right it's we're no longer going for sexuality which is probably good yeah it's truly just like as close to what a mannequin could look like if it came to life right. and just throw it down the aisle. Right. They're just skin and bones. It's, it's crazy. It's really sad that those are like, I know. Imagine. Oh, oh here she oh, is. Yeah, let's, she let's, does look like a porn star. Should we watch her? Yeah. Uh, oh. Unbelievable amounts of Botox. That face hasn't moved in years. No, it hasn't moved in years. By Looks the way. Looks great in a picture, but moving in real life, you're like, oh. Yeah. I just got dye sport today, and it hasn't settled in yet. And I'm like, all right. Well, don't, we're don't touch it. To- <laughs> don't fuck with it. I love when you get <laughs> when you get something like that done, and they're like, yeah, you can't work out for 24 hours. And I'm like, that will not be <laughs> Don't worry issue. about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We're all good. Um, oh, this next one is Caroline Calloway. Oh. We already know all about we her. We know she about sold her, her number create. three. Yeah, number three. We got her thing. We're flying if through this. If you don't this. know, go back and watch. Give okay. it a thumbs up. So this next woman, holy shit, I remember this story. So there was a woman in 2015 named Belle Gibson. Belle G- <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Because it's so because close it sounds to like Mel Gibson. Gibson. <laughs> It sounds like you're trying to say Mel Gibson, but like, or like his like daughter, if he was like very vain, he's like, it's Belle. Oh my God. That's really funny. <laughs> For the longest time, I actually, if I had a daughter, I wanted to name her Faye. And I was like, I cannot be May no. that has a daughter Faye. <laughs> no, you can't. That is a cute name, but you cannot do that. You cannot rhyme your own name. No, that's insane. But anyway, no. Belle Gibson went on an anti-Semitic rant. I'm just kidding. Uh, she- <laughs> that would be really I was fun. like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? Um, no, dude, she was such a psychopath. She fucking lied about having cancer. (gasps) And then she claimed to have cured her cancer with like this fucking diet that she was doing. Elizabeth Holmes wannabe. Got it. Yes. I don't know. I mean, can you go to jail or like, what do you, what do you, how do you redeem yourself? I mean, I don't know how you redeem yourself in the public's eyes, but I don't know if that's technically illegal because there's so many pseudo, like there's so much like holistic stuff. medicine that there is no basis and right. they're legally, they're not FDA approved. So, I mean, what the fuck is not that like that? You have to be a monster. Yeah. Like that is crazy. Is this her or is that's it- her? Wow. So it looks like in this article, they're <laughs> saying that in 2015, she was taking donations Mm. for charity Mm. which i would imagine is probably cancer related (laughs) yeah for her fake cancer and then never donated any of it so that's where they got her in 2017 a federal court ordered her to pay a four hundred ten thousand dollar fine for the claims that's wild so i guess if she had just sold it and not claimed it was for charity then it might have been okay yeah which is not okay (laughs) no definitely not okay. morally extremely questionable can you believe that shit no i feel like there's a lot of people actually my sister so my sister i'm like blank like this story is like so fuzzy to me but i do remember like the the core scandal of it so my sister in her graduating class of college she knew a girl who like the whole time said she had some like cancer and everybody was like oh my god blah 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 and she would like do like she would like disappear for a while and say that she was at chemo and all this shit and my sister was on to her because she was like she was like this is fucking weird because she'll just go to the dining hall and she'll eat whatever she wants and she's like i don't have a very like 
huge breadth of knowledge about cancer, but she's like, I assume like you have to eat certain foods. Like you're kind of fucking sick because you have chemo. <laughs> right. And like this girl was just like going and like just living her life and just normal. being a, like a normal college and student just, just had cancer. And it turned out that she never had cancer. And then she just like left and like nobody ever heard from her again. Isn't that You're, insane? That also puts your sister in such a hard position. To yeah. Be like, <laughs> but it's just no, like, she's lying. Well, she actually, she kept it to herself the whole Good time. Good call. Because she I mean, was there's, like, that's a no win scenario. Yeah. And then as soon as ever it came out that she was lying, my sister was like, okay, did no one else notice that she was like yeah. at parties, like drinking and yeah, doing whatever she wanted? Doing blow. <laughs> Crazy. I forget what type of cancer she said to you. I'll have to ask my sister because that is a wild story. That I feel is like nuts. a lot of people know that. Like people that have lied about cancer. That's or, such an insane thing to lie about. It's so. It's you can so tell when hor- people are. It's uh, so horrible. It's, it's so horrible. Right. <laughs> it's very bad for your body. And you could usually kind of see that someone's yeah. unfortunately going through a insane disease. Well, also. I guess there's different types. I mean, I don't want to like, like throw anybody under the bus. throat cancer. Yeah, I had like my. <laughs> no, but no, it was not throat cancer. It was thyroid cancer. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> throat cancer would be very bad. Oh, okay. Um, but there's like people that I know in my life that have like exaggerated thyroid cancer for like sympathy and stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, you don't know who you're talking. Like I also had it and it was literally a surgery. You know, and that May was it. came in and like did the podcast the next day. And I was yeah. like, are you, <laughs> should you be here? I was completely fine. You were fine. I actually didn't even know it was, it was cancer a pretty at that good, point. It was a pretty good episode. I had to do all like the fucking tests on the oh, weird yeah. ball like, oh, that it came out of my neck. But anyway, it was like literally no big deal and was not life threatening at any point. And people will be like, oh, well, I had cancer. I had throat cancer or I had a uh, thyroid cancer. I'm like, OK, dude, <laughs> you're going to have to chill. Yeah, you're going to have to relax. Also, why are all of these women so far? Women be scammers, too. Women be scammers, too. That's true. Yeah. Um, OK, so this next one, this is July 2020. So hot into the pandemic. Oh. Um, a woman named Santoshi Shetty, he, she's a fashion influencer, uh, faced backlash from her followers for offering mental therapy sessions oh. for a nominal fee on social media. Why are people doing you this? You can't do that. Wow. Yeah, you can't offer therapy. That's crazy. That's so illegal. I'm it, pretty sure. I guess. I mean, I should. I don't think. I don't know where she lives. Um, but she, yeah, I guess it probably depends regionally, but I know in the, the United States, you need to go to a school and accredited a therapist. one very much. My mother's a therapist. It was a whole process. She is. You didn't know this? Oh no, I didn't. German Maybe therapist. you told me She's that. German it's therapist. A, wow. She's like a hardcore therapist. Get over it. Yeah. That's basically, <laughs> she's pretty cool though, because she does a lot of like troubled <laughs> teens and she's always blaming the parents. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I completely get it. But at the same time, she's like just, she's enabling these kids to just go home and be like, fuck you, mom. Oh my God. That's so <laughs> that's funny. Oh, so cute. I want an iPad. Yeah, exactly. But. Um, wow. Yeah, I know. She's, she's. I didn't get any of that sympathy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that when I was growing up? Swim faster. Yeah. Eat less. <laughs> do you need me to come to this competition of yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would rather do literally anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's fine, I guess, whatever. <laughs> and now that you're an adult, you're like, meh, I get it. Yeah, understood. No, I get it. I got it then, too, but I was like, it's gonna just come. I yeah, convinced yeah. her to come to the Olympic trials. Like, oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. You're like, Mom, this is a big She whoop. was like, I love you anyway. And I'm like, I, oh, you can't just, oh, that's a therapy jujitsu move on yeah, you. Yeah, we got to You still have to go. You still have to go to the competition. Oh, my God. My parents used to stand. I don't know why. I think my dad like took my hockey very seriously. So he would stand in a different area of the rink than my mom. And all of my coaches thought they were divorced. (laughs) Was he just like, don't interrupt. I'm looking at her place. Yeah, I was like, no, dude. Like, yeah, I think so. Because then we come, we would like drive back, and he would be like telling, he'd be like, well, this one you should have had, you should have played your angles more. You should have played your oh, angles more. Like, the the post drive, my dad yeah. did the exact same thing. He would come with like an old school camcorder and oh my film God. all my. Ra- it was so sweet. He was so crazy. <laughs> it was so crazy. Like he was known. He was known yeah. as being like out of his mind. He would film other people set like a uh, yeah. races too if their parents wanted. And he'd oh be my like, god, we gotta go so watch funny. this with Connor Swanson. Yeah. We gotta review Connor Swanson's race with him. That's really funny. Otherwise, he just has a bunch of footage of other girls in their yeah, bathing suit. Swimming. <laughs> well, he said he was like, it's really hard to find you on deck sometime because you guys are all in your suits. 
<laughs> I think he felt very weird because he's trying to like you yeah. know get like footage of his daughter and he's like, at a no, competition. That's, that's not Laura's body. Filming got, her boobs like, are too shit, big. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one I didn't too, mean to swimsuit. <laughs> too fat of an ass. I'm remo- <laughs> <laughs> Where's my daughter's fat ass? Where is it? <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Never, ever in your life, ever, never, not once, forget when that. <laughs> <laughs> when that parent wrote you an email about your dump truck ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think this was like a while ago on the podcast. We briefly talked about this where I did a swim clinic. And afterwards, they forwarded me an email that the clinic group. And it was this parent that was so mad, so angry about how my butt was inappropriate <laughs> for a for a clinic, for a swim clinic. I was wearing a normal swimsuit. <laughs> Like, what I think, are you supposed I, to do? Wear a sarong? I was you're... teaching in the water. Like, I was supposed to be in the water. I was swimming with yeah. them in a competition swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just awakened some Midwestern mom's lesbian yeah. backstory. Like, she's divorcing her husband probably right now. I'm probably going to get an email yeah. in, like, two years thanking me. Yeah. But meanwhile, she emailed the clinic group. and or they were like, hitting on you. She was, oh, probably. Probably. Like, let's run away together. And I'm like, you cost me. Let's run away together. <laughs> Some clinics, probably, because they were like, well, we can't. <laughs> we can't have Laura's dump truck dump, ass. Dump truck ass. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> that will never not be hilarious. That was, I need to get that email back out there. I need to put that on the gram. Oh, my God. That is amazing. The complaints. So, anyway, so this lady is a fucking psychopath. And she, going back to Santoshi Shetty, the fashion model. So, she's offering these therapy sessions, right? Um, so, that's fucking crazy. And they For, were just like, you can't do that. And they were 1,500. I don't Whoa. know what that. Oh. Like, I have no idea what metric of. Uh, it's not U.S. dollars. Also, it was called the Flying Cheese Initiative. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know, but she is very pretty. Is she based in Wisconsin or like, what's the deal? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's very pretty, but she's not qualified. She doesn't look mentally well. <laughs> no. So, all right. So here's this next girl. So number seven, in February of 2020, so right before the pandemic, uh, this lady named Kayla Massa, she scammed her followers out of $1.5 million. That's big girl money. Wow. Good for her. <laughs> like, by, finally, we're pulling some actual cash. <laughs> by, by offering them money-making deals that she promised were totally legit. That's When someone has to promise something is totally legit, it usually is. Yeah, usually. <laughs> I feel like that reminds me of like when you look in the comment section of all these publications and it's like, I make five million dollars at home every year oh yeah uh, dm me to ask why you know? right right do you want to join my my uh work do, from home are you a mom that's busy are you a mom entrepreneur do you want to give me your social security number <laughs> exactly oh my god Just need a background check first the Let best is it. like there's some publications out there like specifically this there's this publication i, I like hate follow because they post the stupidest stuff um it's like called mike or whatever mic and they i've looked at their comments and their comments are, there's always like two comments and like they're supposed to be like a big publication and i'm like so you oh. guys like bought your followers and you have like nobody that actually reads this and you're the only reader they're yeah like, because well, i just, gotta can't get rid of may yeah <laughs> and i'm just like reading it <laughs> <laughs> but, like, oh god <laughs> but i get like material because sometimes from their headlines because they're so stupid what, but, what what is the genre of discussion topics? their genre of discussion topics is like uh like snl style leftists oh, where it's like where it's like you know it's like i don't even know like the drug like the fucking ketamine transgender people of haiti want you to know and you're like what yeah is hello? happening here um so <laughs> you're just like the ketamine okay. <laughs> yeah i'm like what is going on in yeah, this what article are yeah what are we doing so anyway it's just me and these bots that tell them about like money making scams in the <laughs> in the comments and that's it. It's very funny to me. Okay. Or promote it on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So February of 2020, this lady named Kayla Massa, she promoted her scheme on Instagram by sharing photos of stacks of money, screenshots of her bank balances and money orders. She would tell them that they could earn $5,000 by letting her friend use their bank account for an unspecified but short period of time. What? What? She would then ask her victims to send their emptied out bank card and their PIN number, which she would later deposit large amounts of stolen money. Eventually, she and her friends were involved in the scam and were arrested by the police yeah so she was using her followers to launder money yeah holy shit wow good for her not good for her but that's like at least the first one where i'm like that's smart that's creative it's creative that's also like more um like you know scamming people out of fitness like all right right you know it's I mean? kind of it's like, like that's like well, you took your You're own You're an risk. idiot. You right. know what I mean? This is like, oh, that's a crime. This is like real, like the Federal Bureau of Investigations needs to call Kayla Massa. Who gets assigned to her case? I know. It's I like, mean, well, I know where she is because she's live right now. <laughs> who the fuck would actually give the give her their shit, though? That's the crazy Idiots. Part. But the problem is there's so many idiots out there. I know. It's very sad how many there are. I know. Why not? Why aren't more of them listening to us? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I think that this is the last one, and then I have. Oh, one. it's a dude! Finally, it's a dude. Thank God. But I have another one that I want to talk about okay. before we let this topic go. So, um, this name, this guy named Ratik Singh. Okay. Uh, Ratik Pr- Pratap Singh. So he's an influencer that promised oxygen cylinders to the families of his followers. <laughs> what is going on here? And took money from them in advance, but never kept his promise. So he lied about being the president of a youth organization assigned associated with bjp what's that i don't know i don't know but any, apparently he's another country thing yeah he cheated people um out of a bunch of money and he eventually was apprehended by the police for lying to people and taking money from them so he took deposits on oxygen cylinders i'm guessing this was during the pandemic but oh yeah for sure it must have i mean i would assume or the most unfortunate like he's like, well, my grandma needs another oxygen cylinder for her air tank. Oof. And this guy's like, well, I'll, I'll take your money, but I'm never going to give it to you. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That's a bad dude. I know. And he only ha- he has 171,000. That's not that many people. <laughs> what an ass. What an idiot. So I have one last one that's okay. not even involved in this article. Um, have you ever heard of Teal Swan? No. Oh my God. I'm okay. proud to say I've heard of only Caroline Calloway on this Yeah, list. me too. I think this was like a very international uh, yeah. list of people. People be scamming all over the world. They Yeah, they be scamming everywhere. But, okay, this fucking bitch. This is probably the worst one out of everybody. Um, So she is this like, she claims to be like clairvoyant. And she claims to be like. Uh, you can do whatever um, you want when you say that. Yeah, but she claims to be like this like spiritual being. And she like has all these psycho ass things. Like she was like saying that um these like beings visited her as a little kid and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. People are like enthralled with her. And she tells people to commit suicide. <gasps> yes. And people fucking have. Because so she's a cult she, leader. She's a cult leader. But she got her cult on YouTube. You can get a cult on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you believe that shit? Wow. I know. There's a million podcasts on her. I we should do a deeper dive on her at some point. Yeah. Because, because I want to know more. Oh, my God. Dude, I would be thrilled okay. to do a whole episode on we'll her. Do, She's crazy. We'll do that as a follow-up. That's our, our. This has all been one long ad for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for this follow-up podcast. That's crazy. Crazy. Multiple people have followed no. through. I know it's very, very so sad. So do you get charged with murder if you do that? I think it's like, well, it's actually kind of interesting because um, I don't believe she has been charged with, with murder. But remember that case in Massachusetts where that girl told the guy to like go through yeah, suicide yeah, yeah, yeah. and she Her went boyfriend. to prison. Yeah. That was psycho. And she went to prison, but that Obviously. was also very psycho. But at the same time, also very concerning that you could just... Like your influence on someone could mm-hmm. be, that's a very legal uh, gray area. Totally. So that was a very interesting case. Um, what she, I think she's in jail, right? She got out of jail. She um, did. She did, yes. But she served, I believe, like four to five years in prison, something like that. Damn. Yeah. So if you guys don't know what the hell we're talking about, this girl. Then tune into another then episode. Then tune into another episode. <laughs> 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 but this girl, basically, uh, she encouraged her boyfriend to um, 
unalive himself and he did and she went to jail as she should have because that's insane yeah um you can't do things like that also that would be sort of an interesting legal perspective of like obviously like one of the saddest things i think about social media is that so many people are so many like young women in particular are you know having suicidal thoughts at least and like all this stuff because of social media so it's like could then people that bully them face consequences like actual real life at a certain point you gotta kind of have some more ownership of your life no i agree but i'm like but i agree with you like like, legally it's interesting it is interesting and given that one case that with the boyfriend that's not a great precedent Mm -hmm. but at a certain point i'm like if someone tells you to jump off a bridge, are you going to do it? I'm like a boomer right, parent right, right yeah. now. <laughs> are you going to be a lemming or what? No, for, for for real though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Figure your shit out. Yeah. Don't listen to everybody. If I've learned one thing from this podcast is do not listen to everybody. Listen to almost no one. Listen to us only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like and subscribe. Yes. And like and subscribe. And tell your friends. And tell your friends. And uh, well, this was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, and I'm excited for the deeper dive into this girl because oh I my feel God. like I feel like I'm gonna have thoughts. Girl, buckle your fucking seat. I want to do like a really good job on that one because Perfect. holy fuck, dude, she is a psycho and she's fascinating. And there's there's a reason why people follow her in a cult because she's crazy. And Are you you're gonna my, end up in the cult. You're I like, would, God I, damn it! Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I just subscribe. Uh, next we lost May. I'm. We're just recording from her commune. <laughs> no, we're uh, <laughs> she's got some good points. Yeah. All right. Cults are very successful businesses. Yeah. Ex- some of the best. Some of Religion. the best. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, tell your friends and we'll be back soon.